pretty good. That's not too bad. No, it's not bad. No, not bad. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Scottsdale, Arizona, and we've got, well, an American Graffiti Classic with us today. Mark, what's your last name? Dilly. And what did you bring today? Uh, 57 uh, T-Bird E-Code. And what's the color on this one? Continental white. Just like Suzanne Summer's car. <laughs> so let's take a look at the American Graffiti Legend. Well, here you are. And to add to that, Mark, how long have you had this one? Uh, a little over three years. And why did you get this car out of all the cars in the world? How did this happen? Um, I was at uh, Barrett Jackson uh, and I was with my wife and we were looking at cars and uh, she said, oh no, that's a cool looking car and up went my right arm. <laughs> and it went up a couple more times. <laughs> and here we go. And I so just want, and I want to feature this because you can see right off the bat, the E-Code has the dual quads. Yep. So that's stuffed under there. And you're gonna see that. Let's take a look. You have the Kelsey, Hel Kelsey Hayes rims. Correct. Is that correct? Correct, yep. yeah. And that, wow. With radial tires, uh, got rid of the, the Coker uh, bias ply, put the radials on so it really drives nice. Let's step back from that. And we'll just let you take a look at that. Now, as I recall in the movie, and people can correct me, that you almost saw the car in motion just from a distance and you never saw it sitting still like we're seeing it right now. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> What's the, uh, first of all, does your wife drive it? Yes. Now, is, there, is that an optional window or something? Because it looks a little tinted. It is uh, tinted. So that I'm sure it was yes. from the factory oh, that yes. way. But was that an option? Was yes. that a tint option? Yeah, tinted and the, and the side curtains too. And the side curtain windows. Yep. Let's look at our interior. Now we have the smaller wheel. Usually this one would come with a big fatter wheel. Right. But uh, that's an optional secondary wheel. Yep. 14 inch. And uh, an aftermarket wheel, we'll call it. It's produced by the people that uh, make the OEM. It's got the digital clock. It had an analog clock that they never worked. So I got the same face, but I sent it to a company in Wisconsin, and they uh, put the digital back on it. Oh, well, that's nice. Looks beautiful. Looks like a little upgrade to the stereo. Mm -hmm. And the factory air. Factory air. Wow. Correct. Period correct. Let's uh, open this door. Really classy with the white. Gives you a very clean feel in that bench. And I want to show one thing. In that seat, you have the Thunderbird logo there. So this came with three tops. Um, Three tops, obviously a convertible top. Yeah. Go ahead, I'll let you. You don't push the button on it. Okay. It comes with a hard top with the with the opera window, uh, the round window, and then it also has a, the uh, tannel cover, and that's built right in, so you can uh, take it and cover the car without the top, and it's a flat top, goes right over the top. It snaps into the snaps on the front of the windshield there on the inside. Got it. Let's open the trunk while we're back here, shall we? We've got a couple of nice features here. One is the turquoise in there. And notice the exhaust comes through the back bumper and the jet-like tail fins. I just want to feature those tail fins. Look at the look. Just taking that look down the side of the car. That's really sweet. <laughs> really sweet. So the factory mat. Unfortunately, we don't have any trunk and treats because uh, Mark and I just met at a car show and we ran up to this location because we thought this would be a great place to take a ride and share it with you and share this car with you. Now, we're going to close that for a moment. And actually what I'm going to do, just so we can see the engine with the sun hitting it, because 
this hood will flip the other way. We're going to turn it around so that you can listen to that. But before we do that, let's jump in it for a second. And while we have the tail lights back here, just uh, step on the brakes for me, if you would. Okay. Sure. I'm going to show those tail lights what they look like. There we go. So since we've turned it around, I thought I'd show you the back in the light because it's just a classy car from all angles. And when you drive in a 57 Thunderbird, everybody likes it because it's sporty, it's classy. I'll just show you that interior one more time because I'm noticing we've got the sun on it now. And you can just see how the everything's just right. There's your horn. The factory air. The sweeping clock. Okay, let's take a look at that under the hood, shall we? Alright. So here's kind of the coup de gras of this car, the cherry on the Sunday the E-Type. So you right off the bat see that air cleaner which clearly tells you which way is front with the dual quads. So we'll just share that with you. So now I'm guessing with the dual quads at that auction situation, uh, that uh, brought that arm up a couple of times. <laughs> yeah, I had actually looked at the, a number of cars where we were there, and I, I noticed this one, uh, but I didn't uh, think I was going to buy it. <laughs> but my wife wasn't with me when I, when I reviewed them. Uh, but when we were in the stands and looking at it, uh, she uh, noticed it and said, now that's a really classy car. Yeah. I like that one. And your wife is 100% right. So <laughs> this is just that. But to have the E-code, and you're going to hear it. You've already heard it actually by this time because I showed you a little snapshot in the front. Clearly we've got an upgraded radiator because they do tend to get a little hot. With the electric fan, yeah. With the electric fan. And we're in Arizona, so we're in the desert. But you see this one. Uh, and you did some restoration work to this one. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, it's the standard uh, 312 engine that I took totally apart and put it back together. Uh, we did do a little boring on the on the cylinders and uh, a little bit of an upgraded cam uh, and uh, an ignition system. Um, we put uh, front uh, disc brakes on it, uh, a bigger correct uh, on cylinder here. Let me see that. Go ahead. And all, all the valve covers are, st are stock ones. Uh, it had the upgraded stuff. Uh, we did uh, suspension. We put uh, sway bars front and back. Nice. And uh, So you made it a little more drivable. Yes. This is a little more drivable. So classy. And um, so the all important question is, so, uh, uh, and I wish she was here to tell us, so how does your wife like it when she drives it? She gets stopped by a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> How does that does that make you feel good, or yes, are you jealous? Especially if I'm with her. <laughs> <laughs> are are they saying loves... anything like, you know, get rid of that guy, you can come with me, something like that? Something or like that, something yeah. Something like that. <laughs> you got to have some thick skin to drive this car with your wife. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Let's uh, let's uh, start Stop it up. Open. Let's start it up. Okay. And let's uh, we'll let we'll let it idle. Okay. And then we'll give it a little rev. because that thing is smooth. Yeah. Right, let's let it idle, and this is a great sound. Go ahead, give them a little dual quad, slightly bored. Give a little more than that, Mark. That's what we needed here at the house. 
that gets the cows running home. All right, Mark, let's take it for a ride. All right. So I'm here with Mark, and we are in the E-Code Thunderbird, the classic continental white. And quite honestly, this is a perfect day and a perfect ride. We're in the right spot for it. We are in the right spot for it. And we're going to show you that right spot. What's the reaction when you're driving this car? Uh, I get a lot, a lot of people thumbs up wherever I go. Uh, everybody enjoys uh, looking at us. What year is that? Uh, and what's that color? How does that make you feel? It's fine. And, yeah. Uh, I enjoy sharing it, you know. Yeah. I, I get to drive it. I'll let anybody else look at it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I actually just had my son, the first uh, classic he drove, uh, he was 15, so he hadn't had his license yet, his permit was a 57 uh, T-Bird, uh, good friend George Hansen, nice. so I want to give him a thumbs up for that. But this car, it, it's a special car to me because I think it is everything, it's sporty, it's classy. I love the 57, I think it's the American design, the 57 uh, Chevy, the Bel Air, but uh, I think this is the, the classy one of the bunch that just shows them. Yeah. Well, I've got a 57 Chevy as well, but it's the, it's the uh, pickup. The so, pickup. So I've got it. Let me just let people take in what we're seeing. Just relax and enjoy. What I like about this car is the, uh, the height of the sides and everything, the, the, the view from here, you're, you're sitting up a little higher even though it's a low car, yeah. but you've got this and, and you, your body feels like you're not almost on a motorcycle. You've got great visibility. Yeah, I agree. And, and, it, and not only that, but it shows you up when you drive this car. <laughs> yeah. It really does. Yes, you're kind of up and it shows you up. Well, Mark, what a fun trip. What a great time. I want to give people just one more view of the mountains where we're at so that they can share with us too. We're not gonna just take it in ourselves, we're gonna share it with you. Mark, thanks so much for being in my car story. Not a problem, I, I enjoy driving around and uh, Lou, it's a pleasure meeting you and uh, enjoying your stories with everybody. Thank you so much.